Hello and welcome to some USF 2000 at Sakuba. This should be a fun one. I love this car and uh, one of my favorite road courses as well, if only because I'm most familiar with it. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, road courses that I don't know too well, but this one, I kind of, uh, I've been around a few times, so to speak. <laughs> so it's kind of like Laguna Seca where even before I racing I was kind of familiar with it so I always enjoy racing around here I don't think I'm all too fast um, we'll see I'm not sure how I stack up but I don't think I'm gonna be all that fast I'm still learning this car it seems like uh, I'm pretty inconsistent in terms of speed in it seems like one race I'll be uh, pretty competitive and then another race I'll just be missing something but that's uh, just part of the process, green, green, green. learning process, I suppose. Okay, here comes your Come on, car turn. All right. Well, that was a weird run to the line, but it works, I guess. A little overdrove it there. Probably could have kept it closer to the apex. Ooh, locked up the tires, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, no, I just overdrove it. That was pretty bad, actually. Um, gotta remember this thing's still full of fuel and still got cold tires, so I shouldn't be driving it quite as hard. Oh my gosh. I'm overdriving every corner. Someone stop me. Oh lord, here we go. We're about a second off my all-time optimal. I'm gonna need to do better this next lap. bad run to the line. Well, I'm falling apart before the race even starts. That's great. Get it stopped. Thank you. Definitely going to want to do better than that. Last lap. I think part of it's going to be not overdriving. Because I did a whole lot of that the first lap. Alright, that was a good uh, path through that corner. Do with that. Come on, shift. Ah, that was bad. Oh well, at least that was an improvement, so 54-6. I know it could be better than that. Oh god, let me pay attention, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm over there looking at the last lap and I'm flying into the corner. I don't know how I didn't crash there, but go Mach 10 into turn one. Anyway, we'll stay out here practice a little bit. Joaquin is pitting in, in case you were wondering. Uh, we don't fart, fall down too far. That wasn't that wasn't bad at all. So I was worried because that number seven up there was in practice, setting like 53s, and I was not anywhere close to that. But it looks like they have, they're just really good here, maybe, because they have the pull by a decent chunk, a couple tenths, and uh, they were the one I was worried about, so maybe I'm not so bad on pace after all, though I am very close to the couple of guys right next to me, too. Four and the six there are very, very close to my pace, and uh, honestly, no, there's no real big drop-off. And honestly, who knows if people are, you know, they just had a bad qualifying, so not so sure what to expect. But hopefully I can hang in there. I try not to spin this thing. The last race at uh, Laguna Seca was very fun. I managed to survive that one. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm not paying attention. That's what I'm doing. But last race at Laguna Seca was very fun. Did pretty well there, so I'm hoping uh, at another road course I'm actually kind of familiar with. Won't do so bad. <laughs> so I'm glad we're out here uh, 
I'm out here getting a little bit more track time. So uh, we're waiting on people to qualify. Still got three minutes, and if people aren't going to be doing anything, then we would just be staring at a blank screen, so... Alright, well... I'm going to need to, like, really focus during the race not to be doing that stuff, because... Sure, you, you have time to catch it here, but I can't be doing that in the race when someone's right behind me, because then they're just going to run me over, and then it's going to be my fault for getting loose in the first place. So going to have to really focus, rein it in here. Try to be a little bit better than that. Oh, looks like we dropped down to fourth now. Let's see if the three inserted themselves in. We got a. I don't know if the number two is pronounced Michael or it's Mikel or Michelle. I don't know. It's uh, two very similar names right in front of us Michael and the number two. Just got done with Arca. Had a, an interesting one there. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Not spoil anything, I guess, but hopefully this one's interesting in all the right ways. And not because I crashed myself or something. We will have to do a pace slap and survive that as usual. Hooray! It's time! And uh, I've got my brake bias back a little bit. I think it's like 50.1. Yeah, because I was just locking up the brakes too much. I don't know if that's really the right way to go about trying to fix that. I should probably just hit the brakes a little less dramatically, but One lap to green. I up hardly know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, still pretty new to open wheel in general. Done a little bit of IndyCar, Formula V I've done a ton of, but that's obviously open wheel for babies. <laughs> Though it is a lot of fun. I'm not diminishing that. I, I I say that out of love because I enjoy running Formula V. I run it every week, I just don't upload it. But uh, now with a little bit of power running the USF 2000 and stuff. And uh, I've actually started dabbling with the F3 car. I did one race last week. It was my first ever race in the F3. And uh, I didn't record it, even though I wanted to capture my first race in the F3. I just felt like I really needed to focus, so as not to wreck myself or others. So I uh, just chose not to record that one and just really hone in. And uh, it was okay, I made some mistakes. I didn't wreck anyone else, at least. I spawned on the last lap, which really stunk because I was getting a decent finish and then I lost a handful of spots and that kind of ruined that, but lots of good experience there at Watkins Glen is where it was. Oh, we're going already. Holy smokes. I need to pay attention now. I didn't realize we were going to be right by the line. Oh, I thought we were going to do like a lap. I didn't realize we were just going to go. That's crazy. I kind of wish all the tracks did that, but I was not really even ready for that to happen here. Glad I noticed it said get ready. Okay, so. <laughs> and I managed to figure that out in time. Let these tires warm up before I start pushing too hard. Oh, we get some locked tires from the lead. It's going to open the door. Interesting battling going on up there.
Ooh, I missed the corner a little bit. Probably go through there a little faster. I feel like I don't push it very hard, but that's okay. All right, so far so good. Got people behind me just a little bit, making me a little bit nervous, but just gotta focus on hitting my own marks. Not worry about that too much. The leader has just done a 54.4. The car ahead has just done a 54.5. The guy behind has just done a 54.8. I feel like I need to do much better in turn one. I'm doing something wrong there. Mm, got loose. I mix it. I just, I can't correct this thing, man. I wreck this car way too often. I need to hold it together. Go through here much faster than the guy had. This is nervous. Everyone's kind of on, the, on top of each other here. It's nervous time. It's not like getting a run off of turn one like I need to. Wow. Oh. Okay, getting into it though. Feels like I'm getting the rhythm. Tires are warming up. So we're getting a little more grip and such. Oh, that's a tire. Lock up. The guy ahead, but he's gonna get the run off, so he's okay. No flat spots in iRacing yet on the tires, so he doesn't have to worry about that issue. I'd love to pull away behind us a little bit so I don't have to think about that all too much. That was a 54.7. Good lap. That's your best in the session. Okay, that was a better turn one there. Got some people leaving, they must have had accidents back there. We're hanging in there with this two. They're kind of guiding me a little bit. I feel like I'm faster because I'm able to follow their lead. Hm. Plus draft. That's a thing too. Let's not forget. A lot of time here. Get your elbows out and force the pass. Looks like the two guys ahead are pulling away. I don't think I would have had anything for them anyway. I don't... I just, whoa, whoa, getting sideways. Whoa, that just kept turning. Yikes. That was like I was a, a top. I just kept turning even though I wasn't turning the wheel anymore. That was kind of scary. Anyway, what I was saying is, I don't feel like this guy's holding me up at all. If anything, he's faster than me, and I'm only keeping up with him because of the draft. So, just gonna try to learn something from him, maybe. Curb there. Oh, we got a lap car coming up. That's a little bit scary. Come on, find the gap. Hmm, how are we gonna get around him? Right here, apparently. Clear on the left. Two gives him the silent thank you.
Your lap time was 54.8. I'm really just using this too as a guide, to be honest. This is good experience. Did it again. It gets really turny in that corner. Really doesn't want to stop turning. Got through there pretty good. So they're not really battling up there either. For first or you know second, they're not battling up there, so I'm not really gonna have any chance to uh, catch up there unless they make a mistake all on their own. They're not gonna run into each other, is what I'm trying to say. Find a gap. I just I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get around this guy. I don't think I am. I really think he's just faster than I am. Glad he's here though, because I'm if he wasn't, I might be falling back to the guy behind. Who knows how we compare in speed to them? Maybe we're okay though, because we are three seconds ahead of them. Better shape up though, because he's driving away from me now. Oh, he almost spun, it looked like. Maybe that was just an illusion, but it looked like he got a little sideways. I drove in there too hard. It takes a wider arc there. I think it works better to take that lower entry though. You've just done a 54.3. Sector 1 is 0.4 off the pace. Pretty good turn 1 there. I haven't crashed yet. That's a good thing. A wider entry. Stay close. Keep the pressure on. Okay. We're back on his bumper. It's, at least we'll be able to pressure him a little bit if we uh, remind him that we're here. Hmm. We haven't really lost much time to the three up there either. We've kind of been consistently around the three second range. So that's interesting as well. Okay, Colton. There were chances here. Let's make sure we can take him. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Five minutes remaining. So that'll be about six laps, maybe five, six laps. Not really in the position to do math right now. Huh. Or even look at the lap times to determine. You think about like where the leader is, you know, all that stuff. This is fun though. Love driving this car. We got something to chase here. You know, if I'm, I don't think I have much of a chance to get by him. It's fun trying to keep up with him. Good six seconds behind us now. Stay close. Ooh, got a little loose. This thing is a challenge to drive. I really enjoy it. 
because you just you can't push it too far or it will snap on you. I know he's got to see me behind him. He's got to be thinking. But he's doing a good job of uh, keeping focused, not making mistakes because of me. Yeah, I feel like I gain on him any time I take that shallower and shallower entry. Your last lap time was at 54.5. Turn one. Oh, almost died. Almost died. I hit the curb and it got unsettled. A quick react to that one. Cut a lot there, and there you almost went too far. Hmm. Couple more laps to go. You've got half your fuel left. Times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. Got close to him. Started getting sideways. He's really slowing down, it feels like. I don't know if he's just being defensive or something and protecting like the inside. I don't know. Definitely don't want to run into him though. Let me make sure I don't do that. Ruin both of our decent finishes here. Yo, goes a little bit wide. He's gonna get a run off though. He's trying to say something or what, but oh, I didn't hear anything. Uh, got too near the inside there. Curb a little bit. Really protecting the inside. I just don't know how to pass, you know? I really don't. Even if I were faster, which I'm still not so sure I am. Draft is huge in these things. Alright, we're coming to the white flag. It's got to be pretty close. It's about that time. Yep, yeah, there it is. Go. Sector 1 is 0.6 off the pace. Oh, I got loose. That lost us some time. I'm pushing too hard now. Yeah, he he had a good last lap. I had a not so good last lap, so he's he's got it. I don't think I ever had a chance anyway, but Okay, Colter. Good race. <laughs> you got a car on the right. Cast off on the right. Go left. P4. Good race. Good win. Ticket flag. Ticket flag. That was fun. Nice Probably scared him a couple work. times, but <laughs> too much pressure, Colton. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I was trying to get you to make a mistake, but you. Uh, you held solid. That was fun. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know why I'm looking at tires like that matters. I don't think that's really a thing here, but <laughs> we get P4. 
Got ourselves a top five. I can be happy with that. Especially because I just didn't wreck and I didn't run into that guy. But, uh... That was a fun one. I did my best to keep up with him. And I think a lot of it had to do with draft, but... He felt the pressure. He admitted it afterward. <laughs> but he, uh, like I said, he uh, was able to keep focused. And uh, we were not able to get around him. No mistakes were made, so... Let's see, uh... What mistakes were made. We got this one. Looks like the 11 went in really soft. Still gotta not run into the back of a guy, but... Yeah, 11 was going real slow, but... West. <laughs> yeah, Midwest. Midwest represented well here. Where did the other guy finish? Me in top. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty good. Good race for the uh, the Midwest club. We got the two, one, and the five. All the Midwest guys. I used to be planes. I I think it shifted over though. They must have um, shifted over. What's a uh, club you're in? Because I used to be planes, but now I'm Midwest. So I guess uh, <laughs> shit. Okay, so um, we hit the button by accident. But so I guess I, I changed clubs. That's kind of weird. But either way, I'm a uh, Midwest now and making friends apparently. So yeah, we had three Midwest guys in the top five. <laughs> uh oh, we got accidents. I got that close up view anyway. Is that the same guy that ran someone over earlier? Oh wait, this is the same accident. Why are we seeing this again? Did I rewind at some point? Maybe, I guess. That's just a sub spin. Probably gonna see a couple of those. Let me fix the camera. It's a little bit too top down for my taste. Lots of people running into each other into this corner. Ooh, hit the tires together. That's no good. And they've just gotta. I got that horrible feeling of having to wait around. Ooh, I almost spin it, gunning it up too. Was that it? Wow. I mean, I bet there's probably more out there, but that's all we're seeing. Uh, if there was anything else, but it's probably just uh, self spins. But how about that? Pretty darn good. So the Midwest showed up to this one. We got ourselves a couple top fives, and uh, yeah. I got the P4, so that was pretty cool. Got ourselves a 0x as well. I can live with that. Had fun trying to keep up with the two. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one.